we're doing the Welsh version of the World Skills Competition. So essentially we're doing the Aeronautical Advanced Competition, which means students from all over Wales can come to the ICAT today, Carnarvonville College, and take part in the competition. So the idea is that they finish the Welsh version and then they move on to the UK version. And then there's another step and stone after that where they could move on to the international version, which takes place in Brazil, I believe. Yeah, the competition today is, is, is quite broad based. They'll have a mixture of avionic testing as well as mechanical stroke hand skills testing, together with theory tests as well. That's a mechanical hand skills test, so it's a fabrication of um, aluminium sheet, which is fairly typical of what we might use on an aircraft. Uh, they're doing some uh, fairly accurate marking out, filing radii, angles, and also doing some riveting. Basically, we're given like a sheet to follow, which is all the necessary checks you need to do before an aircraft can take off from checking tyre pressures to making sure all the instruments work. So all we have to do is just go around the aircraft, looking for damage, any leaks, making sure all the tyres were in had like good conditions, no damage, as well as making sure all the instruments in the cockpit worked as well. Once I've done so far, I've done the avionics test and I've done the written examination, which was theory of flight and the avionics test as well. Yeah, it went okay. Uh, avionics isn't my, my thing really, but I give it a, give it a go. <laughs> Personally, I think the fault finding task is going to be the hardest. I found the ex examination was okay and the practical task I should be okay with, but I do think the fault finding is going to be the hardest one. They get to see other people in the way that they work. I think that's quite useful for them. They get to operate in at a sort of pace that they would operate in the real world. So they're having to think for themselves because they're not getting the guidance that they would normally get in the college or in a sheltered environment, which is where they would normally do it. And it gives them a bit of realism on what it's like to actually sort of uh, produce these tasks in, in a workplace. Obviously it builds character. Um, it also gives you the opportunity to see how other colleges work. There's obviously different aircraft in here that we uh, haven't worked on, which is great opportunity for us and others. I think every day you know you come into work or school um, you come in to challenge yourself and do something a little bit differently and this is something a bit different they'll stand out from the crowd you can go on their CV their record of what they've done in the past they can talk about it in an interview in the future it'll give them confidence though it should promote their, promote their ability to be able to do things and challenge themselves do it get involved um, at the same time as learning new skills and developing your confidence, you're networking. Every person that you work with, the other students, the lecturers, you're networking and, and that's kind of what life's all about. I'd recommend doing it. Obviously it gives you a good opportunity, uh, the right people see you in a, in a good light uh, and you've got nothing to lose, you can only gain from this opportunity. Yeah, I'd encourage just, just, just to get along, just you know, come along, see what, see what it's all about. You know, it's experience. Everything's experience, you know, and it's definitely worth, definitely worth giving it a shot.